17 to 1 foot champs weekend league the best i could get at this stage was elite one i go into my next match full of confidence hoping that i can carry on this run that i was on and yeah we come up against a really good team team of the year, messi croif you save your whole team of the year, money i mean it's a really good squad 25 million the value you can see there plus the bench it's over 30 million squad diego carlos as well if anyone don't know he's as good as any icon center back i have faced right so let's see what we can get out of this match 14th minute I think I make a mistake here with to Stegen, as you see. I don't put enough power in the clearance, fair enough. And uh, he capitalizes through Eusebio, teeing off Timo Diamane, who's not going to miss from there. This was one of the most insane matches I have ever experienced on Foot Champs. It was absolutely crazy what happened when I was live streaming this. Right, so 20th minute, we're already one goal down, and Ruud Hullet is bossing things in midfields, making really good lung busting runs and. I don't know, Hernandez kind of glitched there. He's also not the most strong centre-backs. I don't know if Boateng would have been able to win that duel there. But nonetheless, we find ourselves two goals down. And in the 33rd minute, ball roll past the goalie, sweaty goal into Hullet. It's a pretty good goal from him. Good build-up play and good bit of skill from Mane. So, three goals down, 40th minute. This match looks like he's fading away and it's not even the second half yet. But we've got a chance. Neymar into Hazard. Foot birthday, not many games I've played with him. Scoop turn onto his four star week for it's a really good finish into the top bins. So we got a goal just before half time. Very good time to score. Gives you a bit more momentum going into the next half. But can I get a goal before the second half? Can I complete the comeback? If possible, Hazard into Mbappe. Mbappe's running all the way down the wing. He's going to tee off Hazard. It's a, it's a really good cutback and nice acute finish into the far post. So really good time to score just on the breath of half time. 3-2 down at this stage. I've had two shots. He's had five. We're both pretty clinical. Possession's quite similar as well, but I do feel like Hullet was really running things in midfield. But 3-2 down. Eusebio drag back. He feels like the most agile player I have used on drafts and obviously come up against on FIFA. He's just absolutely incredible. And yeah, two goals down again. Hullet just seems to block every pass I do and chip through ball to Eusebio who finishes that really good, good volley with three goals down. It's 5-2. It's the 68th minute. I mean, what am I going to do from here? 75th minute. Can I make any sort of comeback? Three goals is a big tough to ask when I've only scored two in 75 minutes. But Furlan Mendy, four or five star weak foot. It's a really good finish by him. I mean, it surprised me. But end of the day, I took the shot. I know his shooting is kind of decent. I managed to capitalize off a mistake. I see that it was going to pass it off the radar. And I quickly run with Lucas Mora, one of my subs. 5-4, 85th minute. The comeback is well and truly on. I've got five minutes to make a comeback. I've gone 10 depth. I've gone team press. I've gone absolutely insane with the tactics. Furlan Mendy, pass it inside. He makes a mistake. It kind of glitches. David Luiz, he makes another mistake into Maximam. And I scored. And I went absolutely mental on stream. Everyone was going crazy in my chat as well. 5-5. Five, five. First thing I've done, pause it. Change your tactics. Do not concede a kickoff glitch because... That would be the most frustrating thing considering how this match has panned out. So yeah, I just changed my tactics and try hold on till extra time and see how that goes. I've got the momentum at this stage. I win the ball back. It's the 91st minute. You'd think that I'm smart enough to just hoof the ball. But to be fair to me, I didn't actually intend to do that pass in my defense. But yeah, 92nd minute, blow the whistle ref. Blow the whistle ref. Blow the whistle ref. He just doesn't want to blow the whistle, especially not here. Messi passes it to me. Goes back to him. Amavi tackles Messi. Goes back to him again. Messi third time. Goes to Hullet. We're in the 93rd minute now. The ref's still not going to blow the whistle, is he? Because he's on the attack. Passes it to Eusebio. Chips in the air. My defender. I don't know what the hell happened there. Or was that Lozano? And then it goes to Eusebio. And he absolutely... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing to say about it, really. I could not believe it. In the 94th minute, two minutes over stoppage time. The two rebounds, the last little flick at the end. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to say about it. It was one of the most frustrating goals I think I've ever conceded. Just because I was three goals down, it was 75th minute. How much his sort of team value was. Also, it's not just the team value. I understand it's the player capability. He was a pretty good player as well. So, um, respect to him. I'm not just saying he's got a good team. But yeah, we ended up losing the game, of course, 5-4. And this is the sort of goal that he scored at the end after the two rebounds, of course. And I mean, you can say it's a 50-50 and it just happened to be for uh, Hullet, I guess, into Eusebio. We lost that match and uh, yeah, we just went on to finish our rest of our foot champs game pretty 
pretty pissed off. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you didn't enjoy it because I definitely didn't. It's been your boy. Until next time, leaves you one more thing to say. Safe. <laughs>